My name is Gordy Hall and uh, I'm involved with Elder Network in the Friendly Visitor Program. I visit Ken. Uh, once a week we deliver Meals on Wheels. I ask you a favor today. You would? What's that? Let's go to McDonald's for about a half an hour. A half an hour. Okay. We might have to do it after we deliver the meals. Yeah. Okay. Elder Network gives me a chance to talk to somebody on a weekly basis. Well, I had heard about it, you know, through the paper and different things like that, but I hadn't had any, anything to do with it until I met Vicki. Well, Betty, how are you? Oh, good, how are you? <laughs> you don't have to get up. <laughs> oh, good to see you. Oh, yeah, it's been wonderful. <laughs> oh, she comes about once a week as a general rule. We go out to eat once in a while, and we go for rides and play cards. We looked at Betty's file. Um, I guess I chose her only because Betty, we had so much in common. She was born the year and the day my mom was born. And, you know, my mom's gone. And uh, I says, I've got to meet this lady. We've been best friends ever best since. Sense. Yeah. And it just, it made sense. Probably it takes me back to when my grandmother died. She lived in Albert Lee in the nursing home. And I was raising my little ones in Austin. And I, I think I felt very guilty because I didn't spend more time with her. And I said, when I retire, I'm going to volunteer because someday I'm going to be old too. And so after I saw that, it's just, it couldn't have hit me at a better time. That's two and a half years ago. It just couldn't, couldn't be a better fit. No, I don't think so. We're going to continue to have fun. And that's what it's about. We have fun. Her and I have fun. We get lost once in a while. We do. <laughs> People think, oh. I don't need that. I have to be in my 80s or 90s to use Elder Network. We're serving families because you're having younger caregivers helping to take care of parents or grandparents. So we are serving an entire family also when we provide services. The common thing is, oh, well, I'm sure you have all retired people who are volunteers, right? Not at all. I think that it's just really important to start young. We have people of all ages who do help. Yeah. And your wife are actually living with your family. Yeah, yeah. They, when they built a new house, they put a, uh, an apartment up over the garage for us. So, and that's fun. Three generations. My wife's a middle diabetic. If her blood sugar's down to 30 or 40, what are they going to do? Call 911? My granddaughters know where her glucose is. Drink this, Grandma. The support system we have they see something differently through their eyes, the young kids. And it's just, okay, we can't wallow much in stuff with them around. And uh, Elder Network is uh, giving us adult tools to how to also deal with that. We learned how to look at things through a completely different set of eyes young Aries that don't know all the garbage that you go through to get to the point where she was at. I, I can't imagine someone who wouldn't benefit from Elder Network. You know, it's just wonderful what, what Elder Network has done for me. Because not only am I helping her, it has helped me so much. And if more people realize that, what they can get back. We know not everyone's able to afford, but maybe they can be a volunteer and help their neighbor. Or maybe they're able to say, you know what, I can write a letter to the editor advocating for seniors, or I can do some. It's whatever you can do, so um, do what you can with what you have where you are. I, I could have went down a different road and I wouldn't have been nearly as happy. You know, you think, oh, it'll never happen to me, but by golly, now I'm seeing it all around us. Rather than waiting for crisis to happen, we're doing some pre-planning and helping people do preventative. So by receiving these services, I've been able, able to stay right here, right here, and, and be able to afford for Elderwood Network to help. It's encouragement. It's filled a big void in my life. 
and realize that we're not alone in this world. Because I think I, my mom was my best friend. And that best friend is now Betty. You gotta have the spirit to keep your life going yourself and you can't, you can't slow down. If you slow down, you're done. And I don't wanna slow down.